Hello and welcome back. We are once again, we are live this morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, weekend is almost here, so hanging in there, okay? Uh, let's see. So today, uh, we are going to talk about channeling, okay? Espresso channeling. So, so what is channeling? Channeling is whenever you pull the shot, it's kind of uneven uh, flow of the kind of like water going through the puck as well as if you have an inconsistent uh, grind, uh, grind size, you're going to get a lot of channeling as well. So, okay, first of all, how do you know if you are channeling in the first place? If you have a bottomless powder filter, I mean like I have right here, bottomless powder filter, and you're going to see, when you're putting the shot, you're going to see, so pretty much start from the outside, and then the mid in the middle. So you're gonna have a perfect the uniform shots coming out. And if you got it right, so it looks beautiful to watch. So here's a real question. I know a lot of you ask me that question all the time. Is that worth buying, okay? It all depends on what you are looking for. I mean, if you are like a regular person, just enjoy coffee in the morning, uh, you, may not, you, know, you may not need this, okay? You know, because, and just using regular uh, spouted uh, powder filter works just fine. I mean, you don't have to worry about, you know, channeling as well. Just go through the this side and you're going to get a good shot. I mean, you know, you're going to get a great shot every time. But with the bottomless, you're going to see, you're going to see everything. So you want to see that the quality of your temp and also quality of your grinder size, all that stuff shows you. I mean, kind of reveals it itself. And also, looks really good. So, I mean, if you have like Instagram page or Facebook, you like to share that with your friends, looks a lot better with bottomless than regular, okay? So, I know a lot of you, uh, whenever I watch, you know, looking at the other uh, people's Instagram page, Every morning, they got this beautiful espresso shot. I wonder how many times they have to do that to get the perfect shot. Because for me, uh, sometimes I have to try two or three times to get a perfect shot. So I have to fix my temping pressure, uh, temp the distribution style, and get the shot. But I know some of you out there get a perfect shot every time. If you do, please let me know in the comment below, okay? I love to hear from you, and I love to hear your techniques, and. Better yet, why don't you join me on my Instagram live so maybe show us how to do it because for me, it's really hard for me. So this morning, I'm going to show you guys what is channeling. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Hoon. Uh, pretty much my channel is all about making better coffee at home. So uh, I'm, let me show you what channeling look, look like, okay? So this is live, so there's no editing, nothing like that. So this morning, I'm going to to use simply <clears throat> use my built-in grinder uh, built-in temper and let's see what else I'm just gonna use the bottomless to show you guys the actual shots and I'm not going to I'm not going to use my niche grinder because I know most of you you don't have that you know so I'm not gonna use that I'm not gonna use my uh, San Anthony industry tools either because this is much superior than the regular temper I got from Amazon. Because again, this is 53.3 millimeter versus 53 millimeters. So give you a, a much more precise <clears throat> distribution there. So I'm not gonna use it. Plus, there is a huge price difference. So this thing is about 15 bucks on Amazon compared to San Anthony Industry Tool. It's about $130. And they do make uh, this beautiful walnut the temper as well. And this fits right in here. Okay. So this is free. So this is really wonderful. If you have the money, this is wonderful to invest uh, something like this. But it's about $80. So it's not, it's not necessary. Okay. But again, it's nice to have it, but it's not necessary. So I'm, I'm going to be using built-in temper my uh, just Amazon distribution tool 
I'm going to show you where the bottom left photo filter. And then this morning I'm going to, I'm going to be using uh, Good Brothers coffee again. And uh, I mean, people ask me why Good Brothers all the time because they are a small roaster in Michigan, micro roaster. So you get you, you get it within like three to four days of roasted. So plus I, uh, he's giving us 25% off on all the purchase. Uh, buying from my link down below so it's good the win-win for everybody anyway i'm going to be using that uh, i'm going to be using uh, that's a 17.5 gram i like to use 17.5 because it's a lot easier to work with so only thing i'm going to use the my scale uh, someone asked me on the chat room how hard what screw you mean like how hard I'm gonna screw it? And I, I just like to just line it up. So whenever I just lock in the uh, group head there, so nicely even. So it doesn't have to be really hard. It's not necessary. So I'm just gonna, you know, not all the way though, just make sure I'm gonna line it up with a group head. That's it. Okay, I'm, but meantime, I'm gonna heat it up. Okay, right there. I'm gonna use, again, 17.5 gram. Again, I mean, if, you're, if you have a good success with the bottomless portal filter, please let me know in the comment. I'd love to hear your technique uh, using a built-in grinder on Breast Express. Okay, I'm gonna put 17.5. Let's see here. I'm just gonna flush. I'm gonna warm up my shot glass and my photo filter. Uh, one thing I'm gonna use, I know you guys see me with my 3D dosing funnel all the time, so it's really cool to have. Tap it. Again, do you see the, all the clumps inside? Hope you guys can see it. Okay, it's not fluffy. It has a little bit of kind of clumped. So, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not the bean, it's the grinder, which means you might want to change the grinder size, size to a little coarser, but Kind of like catch 22, if you do coarser, the shot's going to be too fast. So you're gonna get under extracted. So I'm just gonna use my regular distribution tool. I'm, I'm just gonna temp straight down and up, okay? I'm not gonna twist it this time. I'm going to just wipe the group head. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to wait or time. I just want to see the shot quality. So make sure do I have channeling or not. So. Okay. If I'm making the YouTube video, I usually edit this out. But unfortunately, since we're in live, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angle of my camera here. Give you guys the better look of my shots. Okay, so this is just a regular shot, just using built-in grinder and just regular tools. Okay, here we go.
It's not bad, guys. It looks pretty good. Slight channeling, but looks really good. Yeah, looks really good. Uh, someone asked me in the chat room, what is my internal burr setting? Uh, my uh, internal burr sets at number six, okay? Number six is my internal burr. So, I mean, as you can see, uh, shot quality was really good. I don't see a lot of channeling there either. So it looks very clean. And I thought I'm very happy with it. So let's taste. Good crema. Cheers. Hmm. Somewhat under extracted, it's somewhat sour. So I don't want to waste this. So I'm going to make myself Americano on this one. I got my hot water ready already. I'm just gonna dump it right in. I mean, it's a beautiful crema on the top. It looks really good. So first shot wasn't that bad, except it's under extracted a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, let's see. I'm gonna try the Americano first. Perfect, it's good. Oh, okay, someone say use a toothpick to the decrement. Yes, uh, I hear you. So I, my, uh, I made myself decrement tool using a wine cork and paper clip. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this time I'm going to use a decrement tool. Okay, and then I'm going to, this time I'm gonna, uh, uh, let's say, temp a little hotter so it'll give you more compact. So slow down the shot. I know, I think uh, I, who, uh, someone did a, a video on that uh, some time ago. The temping pressure doesn't really matter. It comes to extraction time, but some reason with Brista Express, it does matter. So I don't know why, but that's what we're gonna do this time. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna stay all the same again. So sometimes, you know, this puck gets stuck but usually it comes right up, so. I like to uh, flush between the shots. So first shot was pretty decent. And then let's see how goes on our second shot here. Do the, all the same thing. We're gonna do it over again. Okay, someone, uh, someone asked me in the chat, room, why don't you uh, change the grinder setting? Right now, my grinder setting at number six right now. But six to five is a big difference in the grinder size. So if I go to five, it might be too much change. So instead of changing it, and I like to just use a temp little hotter. But for your request, I'm gonna go down to number five, okay, and see what happens. So another thing, if you're using hopper, if you have beans in there, uh, some, I know some people like to use hopper, and this I don't personally, but if you're using a hopper, whatever you're going down size, make sure your grinder is running, okay? And go down to number five, or go down. Going up doesn't really matter because going down, the, has a space between the, the burrs, has beans in it. If you don't run it, it doesn't work. So make sure, uh, make sure run the grinder and go down the size. Okay, so instead of I'm gonna temp a little harder, I'm just gonna do the exactly same thing, but I'm using the finer ground. Okay, so let's try one more time. I'm gonna use a 17.5 again. The so first shot was good, okay? I'm really happy with it. Comes to channeling, but except of somewhat under extracted. 
for second shot. If everything goes right, we can we are going to get a beautiful shot there. Uh, if you are curious about this uh, coffee canister, it's called Fellow Atmos, the vacuum canister from Amazon as well. Okay. Just make sure everything is nice and clean. One bad thing about bottomless portal filter, it doesn't keep warm, okay? Because you see all the empty space. Uh, you, you are going to lose a lot of heat there, so that's one downside too. Okay, so this time I'm going to be using my uh, paper clip. Just make sure I'm going to de clumbing all the little bits of this, the ground beans here. I know this is somewhat tedious, but it's definitely worth doing. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more. Oh, by the way, if you care about this uh, process, uh, make sure to join my channel. I have plenty of video like this. I mean, if you are, again, I mean, if you are willing to do this much work, which means you are no longer a beginner. And, okay, so here we go. So this is beans from Good Brothers, and it's, uh, they have a special blend, and they have an espresso blend, so I'm just going to temp. I'm just going to do the same pressure like last time, just straight down and up. Okay, this time I'm going to be using my not neutral uh, espresso cup there. Okay. All right, I'm going to change the angle. So what do you guys think? You think I'm going to get a decent shot this time or messy one? We'll see. Here we go. Up, uh, yeah, I see some little bit of channeling to the side there. Yep. This is worse than last time. So that, so again, so it's not the best shot. As you can see, it's really messy. Really messy. So that is what happens when you are using uh, let's uh, built in grinder and <clears throat> a distribution tool that's what it is I mean again it's kind of like hit and miss the first shot was good I thought the first shot was really good but second shot was I like the extraction time but all the channeling there it wasn't that great but you know what let's try this let's taste Uh, someone also, someone telling us that the challenge is due to the basket, the filter basket itself, possibly, okay? Because we have no options. Uh, only Bravo makes that filter baskets. It's kind of somewhat, is that uniform? I'm not sure. So, hold on. It's much better this time. Very sweet. 
kind of brown sugar flavor, much better shot quality, but comes to shot, the looks of it, it's not that great. Anyway, uh, man, it's tough call. What should be done when changing bean types, just flushing out old beans from burrs enough? Okay, if someone asks me, what do you do whenever you're changing your beans? Uh, if you are using the built-in grinder, uh, one dosing at a time, what I like to do is I just get a handful of just you no know, new beans, just handful, just just handful of it, just flushed out, so you can get the old beans out, and then start using new beans. But whenever you are using the new beans, if you are getting from same roaster, the grinder setting is about the same, plus minus one. So you can just play with the grinder setting there, but just just give you a handful and flush it, and you should be just fine. So. Uh, what we learned from having a bottomless portal filter, the fixing channeling, uh, with Brista Express, kind of like hit and miss. Uh, some days you're going to get a great, beautifully, uh, beautiful looking shot, some days not, but at least tell you your, how you are doing with your technique, okay? The grinder size or the temping pressure, that's all matters. And but second shot, we did the climbing tool lower the grinder size what else we did uh, so only thing left is maybe some dosing amounts change to maybe 18 gram rather than 17.5 that's why we can do that as well again there's no perfect shot okay and because i know you guys want the perfect shot every time but even with i mean professional equipment i know some of I know some people out there are using $3,000 grinder plus $15,000 machine. You still got, you still going to get a channeling. So it all depends. So I'm not too worried about that. I mean, if you are new to the espresso, just have fun with it. And I am, and it's really fun to making coffee in the morning for the family. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions or comment uh, down below, uh, by the way, not neutral, uh, going to give us 15% off on all their cups if you buy it from their website. So I'm going to put that link down below as well. I mean, not neutral makes my, one of my favorite coffee cups. And so my, one of my favorite nowadays is called Indigo Color Cup. So it's really fun to use it. Really, it's, it's awesome. Anyway, uh, by the way, if if you guys are getting consistent shots from bottomless portal filter, please let me know on the comment. I love to hear from you and uh, I love to have you on my Instagram live. So maybe you can show us how to do it properly. Anyway, see you guys next time.